Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. It's time to do another section on walking in the rain. Uh, so I'm going to finish this stretch up. Um, I like to do two whip and waffles a week. Uh, one tends to be my Thursday, my big project walking in the rain, we're doing most of this, a lot of this together, um, a sort of my mm -hmm. ongoing project and then I do one on a Sunday with whatever my current painting is that I'm working on on an evening. So this is walking in the rain, we have 192 colours in this diamond painting though we won't be going through all of them for this section. Uh, looks like we have quite a bit, quite you know, like words, words, words would be good. Um, we have some quite blocks of colour for today's section. So we'll see how long this one takes because I do have a current a whip that is ongoing. I don't work on this one in between filming. So it was this section that I did last week. When my current whip is finished, then I will do some of this sort of off camera time uh, up until it's finished. But anyway, I hope everyone is having an amazing day because an amazing day would be good. It's always good to have an amazing day. Um, yeah, weather's quite nice over here at the moment though, as I'm filming it, I do remember reading something about flood warnings uh, in just a couple of spots that are prone to flooding in our town. So I am expecting an absolute downpour later on today so we'll see if that truly happens um, but yeah apart from that I am plodding on for the day I'm using our upcoming limited edition pen and tray that release tomorrow Friday the 12th I'm using those for this painting and yeah, let's go to comments, etc. With this being, I wouldn't say it's a small section, um, but it feels like, I think because it's a bit more blocky, it feels like it might be a section that doesn't take me as long as some others do. So for that reason, I want to get into comments and questions so I don't end up with too much of a backlog. Um, I have quite a backlog on my Sunday Whip and Waffle at the moment, so I think I'm due a long Sunday Whip and Waffle coming up. Um, but Gadget Girl, oh, in fact, where is my lid? Where have, oh, it's there. It is on camera, sort of. Uh, her comment says she loves uh, my videos and, uh, sorry, she likes it when I put my lid with what symbol is on in the shot so that she can see what symbol I'm doing while diamond painting. So I will try to remember that as much as possible. Uh, it's a nice reference for me to know where my lid is, uh, as well as if, of course, if I can keep it in shot, then you guys can see what symbol I'm working on too. Uh, I like to start when I have sections on this painting that have a lot of um, the blue and yellow symbols uh, rather than the black ones. I like to try and do those first because I have since put all of those in one case. So this one tray that I had out has all my symbols that are yellow, blue and red in colour uh, and it only takes about half the tray and then the black symbols are in an additional two trays so it's always nice to get these ones checked off 
first before moving on to the ones that are spread over a few cases. But yeah, I think this, this section is probably the most black I've done in one section, maybe. I may have had another section where I've done quite a chunk a little bit further down here. So this section is actually quite a chunk as well. Um, but I may have done a couple of sections at the same time when I did that one. Um, Lenore, Lenor, Leonor, Leonor Santos uh, says, Hi Rebecca, great whip and waffle as always. Thank you. Uh, they said they tried to turn their canvases around, even smaller ones. Uh, because in most pictures, the sides or the borders of the images are not the most interesting part to do. Uh, so they do the outside and then work their way to the centre. Um, so reaching the centre of the image and then starting on potentially most boring other side. She says she keeps her motivation that way because then she is motivated to see the focal point or the main part of the image completed. I like that idea. That is a little bit different, but sometimes we need different. You know, just we still enjoy the process, but it just changes things up that little bit. Uh, she says she gets used to the upside down symbols very easily uh, and if not they just turn their containers around so the symbol is in the same position as it is on the canvas uh, and normally after doing just a couple of sections uh, they don't need to do it anymore so like their brain automatically puts the symbols around the right way. And I find that, especially with working on the side, um, I always like to have the side facing the same way, just because I do find my brain registers the symbols just that little bit quicker uh, by doing it on the same side always, like the same head tilt. Uh, it's a quicker process for my brain. Uh, but I do like the idea of doing an image sort of all the way round. I suppose I did do that on the fox painting that I had, that I finished a couple of weeks ago. I did do all round the edges of the fox with the white before I then did the main image of the fox. I'm just gonna grab a trash tray because there are a few black ones with extra little bits in. So we'll start getting rid of some of those. Um, so yeah, I, I can see how that would be a, a fun thing to do with a bigger image um, as well. I suppose it was just automatic for me for the fox because it was only one colour. I've not tried it with ones with maybe more of a complex background, but still having the main image in the middle. But I do like that idea. So there you go. If you want to mix it up, do your borders and sort of colour in that way. So I'm just scrolling, there is there is a lot of whip and waffle comments <laughs> that I still need to read um, for the Sunday whip and waffle. I'm very behind on that one. Uh, but for this whip and waffle, I'm now on comments from last week. Uh, last week's whip and waffle. So Mysterious Days, she says, hi Rebecca. She says, happy Wednesday. Uh, she is working on Day Fishing at the Mill by Diamond Art Club. Uh, they said, oh my Lord, there is so much confetti in the trees. I did a tree one, uh, Anne-Marie Bond from Dreamer Designs. And oh yeah, there is so much confetti in trees, uh, but it looks so good. Uh, she says she doesn't often work on landscapes. Uh, most, most less things like a summer afternoon and a cabin and a lake, much less I think. Um, so she says 
it's a huge adjustment. Uh, she said, thankfully, there is a little bit of colour blocking in places, uh, but it makes it feel like progress is going so much slower. Um, at least the drill, she says, a bit like a dream. That definitely makes it nicer, especially if you've done something that's quite colour blocky or if you are somebody that's a multi-placer by habit uh, rather than having to think about it like I do. If you're a multi-placer by habit, then I can imagine that doing a painting that is very confetti heavy uh, takes quite a bit of uh, or feels like it takes a lot more time and is a lot more of an adjustment um, whereas I'm still at the stage where I feel like I'm winning a little bit when I can multi-place uh, and things actually get done you know just that little bit quicker I suppose with multi-placing rather than feeling like it's slower because I can't multi-place um, but yeah Trees are always fun. Uh, she also says, she says, at least in the south of the US, she said it is pollen season. Uh, she says primarily ragweed, which she is allergic to. Oof. Uh, and it's causing her to feel absolutely terrible. Oh, no. Um, she stood outside for 10 minutes to get the groceries that they got delivered. Uh, and it took her days to recover. Uh, she said headaches, congestion, the works. Uh, she can't wait till summer hits. Uh, she said at least right now, the idea of sweating in 80 to 90 degree heat. I've just spotted that has an air bubble in it. Uh, in 80 to 90 degree Fahrenheit, which is 26 to 32 degrees celsius thank you for the conversion that helps it make sense to me <laughs> that is fairly warm that is sweaty uh, she said those days seem more pleasurable than not being able to breathe through the nose with non-stop headaches yes i think i'd take a little bit of sweat over that plus you know that the heat is going to cool down in the evening um, and you won't be sweaty all day as well which definitely helps uh, she said edit she says she's moving her language arts test back um, overall she says she does feel better uh, more confident uh, the stuff that she still feels she needs to prep uh, and there are areas that she's definitely grown in uh, she said there was too much of a likelihood uh, she'd have failed and had to pay another $46 to retake um, and she doesn't want to do that if she can avoid it. So she's moved that. Uh, she says though she can call a win uh, in school work being done or school being done consistently uh, that she feels like it is a daily part of her life. Uh, she's not having to make a conscious effort or force herself to do it anymore it's just a task on her to-do list she says ultimately her goal is to have her GED by the end of the year uh, and then next on her list is driving school and hairdressing school in late 2024 or 2025 depending on how time passes there's nothing like having set goals and things you want to happen by a certain time but with flexibility so having your GED done by the end of the year is a good shout and then you can take it you know and sections of it as and when you feel confident in a particular subject or you know which whichever sort of the stages are you can work your way through the stages uh, but being flexible in that is very good but not too flexible you do need to have a goal a realistic goal I think that's the key word realistic uh, we can all have a goal to have something done within a certain amount of time but if that's not a realistic goal then you're just setting yourself up to in effect fail um, which is more demoralizing than 
setting a realistic goal um, and maybe achieving it early. So well done you. Uh, she also says, she says comment to and watch too. So she's watched it a second time. She says today she's going to end up bringing my videos to distract herself. Uh, she said, since your voice is so calming. Uh, oh, she said her father passed over a decade ago. Uh, but today's his birthday. Oh. Uh, she says, and these days always hit her as to with how much she misses him. I'm not surprised. She said, so today is uh, distract and distract so that she won't be sad all day uh, because he wouldn't want that. Oh, bless. At least you've recognised that he wouldn't want that and a way to do it, you know, or a way to help. Um, there's always going to be sad moments when somebody passes, however many years it's been. There's always certain things or certain days that just trigger the memories a little bit more than others. Um, but yeah, you, all you can do is carry on and remember the happy moments because they're the ones we all want to remember are the happy ones not the sad ones uh lai salu uh says yippee first view <laughs> okay so this must be the first comment on last week's whip and waffle i think the other one was um only the day before the whip and waffle went up which is what's confused me doesn't give me dates on here uh, it just gives me how many days ago so if i don't don't count properly <laughs> I'm never going to figure it out. Oh, look, did well there. Only two, two diamonds left. And because they weren't in the tray properly, I can just sort of weren't the right way up. I can just tip them into the corner. Very nice. Right, we do my 939, which tends to be intermingled with my 310. Get rid of the one with the hole in. Joys of resin diamonds. Occasionally you get one with like a, an air bubble that's then created a hole in the diamond. Okay, that's all. That dark colour, we are on a lot of dark colours for the beginning of this. I do like to start with 310s and the dark browns and things. Um, they work out much easier for me to sort of see and fill in. Um, she says she loves walking in the rain. She says she completed it last week uh, and it's all framed. She says she loves this artwork. It is an absolutely gorgeous piece, isn't it? Um, and it's surprising how less difficult, should we say less difficult? Easier than, than I thought to do one with this high a colour ratio. I mean, I have done a Heaven and Earth design with over 200 colours. So maybe I did already have that sort of slight association of working with larger colours. Um, and it's definitely easier than the Heaven and Earth design because the symbols are on the canvas and not on a chart. Um, but yeah, I still expected it to be a little bit more challenging than it was, I think. Um, it's got the right amount of challenge in it to feel different, but not tedious. Um, she says, spit and polish is the one she's heard of, is the saying she's heard of, uh, so, which is a quick flick. She says, also, she hopes uh, we're well, much love and thank you. Yes, we are all good here. Thank you ever so much. Um, most of the household is having a bit, pretty much chill kind of day today. I think the F1 racing is on as I'm filming this. So that keeps the girls all busy. They are all watching the F1. And yeah, I'm doing my videos, which is relaxing for me. Um, I don't like to sit and just do nothing. So it's a great time for me to get some videos done and get to chat to you guys. 
Uh, I actually only have a couple more videos to do after this one, so they won't take too much time. Too much time. Uh, Poppy, she says hi, Rebecca. She says she hopes I'm well. She says she has uh, a few whip and waffles to catch up on, uh, as she hasn't been able to watch them uh, because she's been busy. She said walking in the rain is looking amazing, uh, and she can't wait to see um, what it's going to look like when it's complete. Yes, it is looking stunning already, um, and I really can't wait, one, to see how the ladies are going to turn out like that is walking in said rain. Um, I can't wait to see how she looks. There's a lot of confetti that I can see um, that I know will sort of, once it's done, it will just bring her to life. Um, but I'm also excited to see how the big bands of bright colour look as well. Um, because the bands of colour of course are quite vibrant but when you're looking at the canvas that have got symbols on um, it doesn't make it as sort of it still looks bright but not as bright as it will do once the diamonds are on. So I'm rather excited to see what it will look like once diamonds are on too. Um, and how how vibrant those colours are going to pop. Uh, All Things Crafty by Kaz. She says, hi, Rebecca. She says, happy Easter to me. Thank you. Uh, she says she didn't have much of an Easter as she was working Good Friday, Easter Saturday and Easter Monday. I know, it's shocking that, well, I suppose most places do shut Easter Sunday, or at least they do in the UK. Um, but yeah, it's shocking how the rest of it sort of just becomes some big shopping weekend. Um, she said she's preparing to work tonight, uh, but then she is off for a week. Uh, the hubster and herself are going to Benidorm for five days. She cannot wait to relax. Oh, have an absolutely amazing time. As I'm filming this, you're probably there. Um, I don't know whether you'd be back by the time you're watching it. <laughs> but have a wonderful, wonderful holiday while you are away. And enjoy switching off and relaxing because that's what holidays are all about. Um, Christina. Uh, she says, while the cover paper is really cute, so my daisy cover paper, uh, she says she constantly thinks there are spilled black drills. She said, especially with the ones um, in the trashy tray, she says, even though they are square. <gasps> I get that. It looks like I've just knocked them all over the cover paper. I can see that. Maybe it's there to hide when I do knock them all over my cover paper. You never know. <laughs> but no, I can see that now you've said it. It's not something I've particularly noticed. Uh, mainly, it's possibly, it's, it's mainly due to the fact that I work normally, apart from when I'm now filming this, I work on an easel. So it's tipped up, so therefore my brain knows that gravity would take care of any drills and they would potentially fall down, they wouldn't actually stay there. Uh, maybe it's also because of the amount of this stuff that I've prepped, I'm used to it. Um, but I do get how it looks like that. Maybe maybe I'll change it up again for next, next time um, while I have a few different choices of cover paper. Maybe I'll do a different one for next week's and we'll see what that one looks like. But I absolutely adore this daisy one. I think it is partly because it's got the black and white with only a small pop of colour. It just is one of my favourites. One of my many, many favourites, of which I probably have far too many. Right, I have just used up, I'm just trying to check that drill's fitting in right. 
the last of that 938. So I do have more. I've not run out completely. Uh, and what I like to do is just switch the bottom of the pots. Take, this is how I figure out how my nails work with scissors, uh, with stickers. Take the sticker off and pop that back in the case. And then I just go to using this pot and put that lid back on. Um, yeah, I've only got a few colours now that I have sort of diamonds left over for. 310, I've already switched pots. Uh, the main one is like 307, which is a bright yellow. I've still got this much left, but I do have extras. However, I do know that I think the next section we're going to do has loads of it in it. It's like one of the big colourful stripes. So I reckon we'll go, be going through a lot of yellow next week. It'll be a lot brighter. Okay, let's get... Let's do the rest of these yellow symbols, I think, before I move on to blue. There's only a few more yellow symbols. And there's not a huge amount of each one. Is there any more of that one? Don't think so. That's why I'm tipping into the lid because there's not too many of them makes it easier to sort of tip them back in and call it done. Uh, Cat Lady, she says, was it the British summertime that has upset my timing today? Uh, she said, you has us pondering where you were. Um, glad you got here. Ah, so did my video on Thursday not go up until... 5 p.m. British summer time. I might need to try and keep note of that then because I always schedule my videos for four. Um, however, I may well have uploaded my Thursday video and scheduled it on the Saturday. And then the clocks, of course, changed Saturday, early hours of Sunday morning. So maybe because I scheduled it on the Saturday, YouTube has then adjusted the time for me, even though I've not asked it to. That's the only thing I can think. If that video on Thursday did go up later, my apologies. It will have been because I had it edited and scheduled in before the clock change. Otherwise, I made a boo-boo if that wasn't the reason, but I've not noticed YouTube doing it before, but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened before. It may just be that I haven't noticed it happening before. Um, so yeah, apologies if it did end up going up delayed. Just taking my cardi off, it's getting warmer. Is that, is that in between weather? Cardi, not cardi, do you, don't you? Um, yeah, so big apologies if that did happen. Uh, four o'clock as well, sort of when my videos go up, is sort of my um, time for the postie to turn up. So I'm often busy between four and five. Uh, postie turns up, collects the post. I'm trying to get any prep work of, of items, uh, advent and stock items finished up. I'm trying to get those finished up to wrap up my work day. Uh, everybody's coming home from work between sort of like quarter past four and sometimes six o'clock. But like everybody's coming home from work. So it's a very busy hour for me. Um, so I probably haven't noticed at all. So I do apologise. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing it was the clocks change. Uh, she said she's glass, glad that I got here. She said, but she will have to watch in two parts uh, as her medication requires her to eat before 6 p.m. 
she said she do, she drinks coffee throughout the morning, uh, but she does have to switch to decaf after lunch. Um, her husband, she said, lives on coffee uh, when working as he was on the road most of the day um, and it never affected his sleep. She says she finds now that she can tell the difference between decaf and caffeinated, uh, but he can't. Ah, I don't know that I can tell the difference between the two. Uh, I might be able to. I might not. I don't know uh, because I don't drink decaf. <laughs> um, but I can imagine if I did sort of have them both. I could. I always think I could potentially tell the difference. Um, but I also like to vary up which type of coffee that I have. So while I do have espresso added into hot milk uh, to sort of make a latte flat white type type coffee, but with with less mess. Um, as in, I don't steam the milk because then it, there's a lot more cleaning involved. Um, I do have quite a few different pots and I, I mix them all up and use a different one or, you know, whichever one I grab each time I make a coffee so that my coffees taste different throughout the day. Uh, so maybe I wouldn't notice decaf because I'm not drinking exactly the same type of coffee every day. Uh, Lisa, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she's watching me, watching me do walking in the rain uh, really wants, um, really makes her want to start one of her own Max Colors paintings. Uh, but she's only part way through her current whip, which is very confetti heavy. Uh, and she does only do one at a time. Uh, she said it's looking gorgeous. It is a stunning, stunning painting, I will say. Stunning artwork and in turn stunning diamond painting. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, though I am seeing it coming to an end as well. Um, and it's like... Oh, I kind of don't want it to end, but I kind of do. I think if it does end around June Waffle, uh, it will be quite a nice, nice sort of stopping point. Though having said that, we are, what, maybe even halfway through April. Um, and then I've just got May. So it, I guess it depends on how quick I finish my current whip as to whether I can get a few sections done in, in my own diamond painting time and actually get this painting closer to being finished for June but we shall see it still ended up being a longer project if it's been a six months project so uh Gray Legrand, she says hi Rebecca she says she's currently watching on her iPad as she works uh she says but she's popped on this on the computer for this comment she said it's easier to type on a keyboard i am so with you the amount of times i will go to do something on my phone or you know get reminded or follow some sort of link on my phone and then go nah need the computer like it's wanting me to type in too much information <sighs> give me a keyboard <laughs> i absolutely love using a keyboard she said, so she hasn't got her logbook completely updated with her stash yet. Uh, but then she's, then she's decided to redo her spares storage. Um, she says, but she could really do with a decision wheel to decide um, on which round canvas is next. She says, maybe next time. She says, that said, she said the bulk of her stash is from Diamond Art Club. Um, and, and she does have her Diamond Art Club stash organised on their website. Uh, what she does is she, they, 
let you create multiple wish lists and rename them. So she has four different wish lists on Diamond Art Club's website. Um, she has my wish list, completed, archived wishes and stash. She said, so if she pops onto the stash list, she can filter it based on categories, uh, types of drill, etc. Um, I like that. I like that idea. If you only if you had all stash from one company, but I do like that their wish list allows you to filter by type. So if you do like Grey the Grand Doors and has all your wish list, all your purchased paintings in its own wish list, um, you can then filter by rounds or whatever and have a look at what you've got in your stash. Uh, she said, P.S. She has just created her first wheel with a Diamond Art Club rounds. Uh, she says she's afraid to use it. <laughs> she said, edit. She's edited again. She said, it picked flower buns. Yay. She says, the problem is it won't be here until the 8th of April. She said, today is Thursday, the 4th of April. She said, maybe I'll work on some whips in the meantime. Love it. You managed to get your decision wheel to pick a painting that isn't even here yet. See, I will say I, I don't, I mean, I update my decision wheel from my logbook. I get why you've used the website because your logbook's not fully up and, up and running, should we say, yet. Um... But yeah, I update mine from my logbook. So it doesn't go in my logbook until it's here and has been unboxed on camera. Um, so yeah, I try not to put mine in early. Um, partly for that very reason. I don't want it to pick a painting that I either haven't unboxed on video yet or I don't even have yet. Right, my coloured tray of drills is done. So I now have two other trays of diamonds. One holds more circles, flowers, squares, uh, and some keyboard symbols. And then I have one that has letters, numbers, arrows, and sort of triangles. So I actually think I'm going to do 400 that I have a lot of in here and maybe do sort of big, big ones first. I will probably get bored and sort of want to fill in some of the gaps. I was tempted to fill in some of the gaps here, but I also think if I've got some of these symbols over here, I'm going to miss them if I don't do all these first. Um, Olivia? She says she's loving the Whipple Muffle. She said she needs to organise uh, her diamond painting paraphernalia uh, and it seems to be breeding. She says, so she will be colour matching, she thinks. Yes, I've been trying to colour match a bit um, and so with sort of some stuff, especially with my tray and my pen. I think because I look at them so much as I'm diamond painting, uh, I did bring in a lot of uh, pens, sort of different coloured pens from the shop so that I can sort of mix and match them up. Um, and yeah, just it just makes me smile when I'm diamond painting. Uh, and this daisy one does sort of go with my yellow, orangey, peachy type of colours so the cover papers work in this time too. Uh, she also says, oh a couple of comments, she says uh, she doesn't like coffee herself uh, so she gets her caffeine fix from um, Coke or Pepsi which she drinks far too much of she said to be fair. Uh, it's since she started this job she says that she needs to keep awake because it's mentally draining. 
I know that feeling, a mentally draining job. You definitely need the pick me up. Uh, she also says she may be on the same amount of canvases. Uh, she says she keeps losing track uh, and she does need to make an inventory too so that she knows. Having an inventory is quite nice, but laying your eyes on your visual canvases also really helps. So actually the video I made where I did get every canvas every large canvas out of its box um, was a really really nice experience actually it was a nice video to do it was a little bit more chaotic in the background than my videos normally are uh, but it was really nice to sort of I suppose re-familiarize myself with a lot of paintings in my stash and I do think I should take the time to sort of go back looking through my stash in my logbook that I have pictures of because um, it's a lot less messy. Uh, I do think I should sort of go back through my logbook. Maybe each time I, I do a logbook update video, I kind of feel like I should go through and just have a re-look at what's in my stash each time just to keep it in the front of my mind. Uh, she also says, usually colleges offer craft courses for adults, she says, which may be an option. She said, sorry for all the comments. She keeps thinking of things to say while she's watching. Uh, she also said hobby craft usually do demonstrations. Yeah, we do have a hobby craft. It is two, three minutes by car, if that's. 10-15 minutes walking um, to get to uh, the hobby craft near us. Um, I just know they do demonstrations but it'd be more you know you'd do something small to take home that day. I was thinking of looking into something that's a bit more long term. I do know somebody that I used to know through scrapbooking. Um, I'm not sure if she, I think she may still do scrapbooking um, but I know she opened like a quilters guild. I just don't know if it's still going like it was quite a few years ago. I need to sort of hunt her down and see if she still has like a quilters guild type thing. Because I reckon that might be the sort of place that I could potentially, you know, go on a long course and learn and do and come home with a quilt. <laughs> uh, Olivia also says, she says she loves lists uh, as she needs a few bits done in the house. She says she started making a list as her brain does a, a brain dump every so often. She says, so there is, um, so if there's too many things to do all at once, she says ticking off the list uh, may motivate her more. She says, however, wanting to get on the, the dotting den sorted first so that she can take the time to keep her sane, self sane, uh, after long work days. Yeah, I do think you need that sort of relaxing space as well. I know a lot of people say uh, if you're you know, maybe looking to decorate your whole house or declutter your whole house or, you know, deep clean your whole house, whatever it may be. If you're ever wanting to do like, you know, the whole house as a project, um, loads of people say to do the likes of your bedroom first, followed by like maybe your living, your main living space. Um, because you need that time to switch off from it as much as you need the time doing it. So getting your dotting den done so that when you have your switch off time, you have that sort of space to go to, to escape it all, um, does sort of make sense. Um, you need a, a calm place to go. Um, and then, you know, work on the other key areas so that you can rest in between doing. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Maria, 
Mary Angel, Ma Marie Angela Rose <laughs> shared she actually made a Winnie the Pooh uh, from crochet of crochet for her boyfriend last year. She said it was so fun. She said it's a cute and relaxing hobby, uh, and I should learn it one day for sure. She said, uh, "Greetings, Rebecca." She says, "While well, diamond painting with you." Oh, thank you. Yes, my niece makes some gorgeous little crochet animals. I actually have a little reindeer um, that I got from her sort of in our Christmas decorations now. And I love it when he comes out. Absolutely love it. Uh, Lady Dak, she says, it's a shame you don't live near us, Rebecca. She said, P. Jelly would love to teach you to crochet. That would be amazing. It would be a two and a half hour train ride plus though every time and that's if I got the direct train. There is a direct train from our town to London Euston um, but it is as I say like a two and a half hour be a day trip every time and I'm more one of those that give me an hour of learning and then I need to switch off and let it sink in. <laughs> um, she says she's been meaning to ask if I could put some pics in the group of your trays for walking in the rain uh, she said it would really help some of us to see how you've organized your symbols yes more than more than happy to do that it's always hard to tell how much is picked up on camera and how much you guys can see on camera uh, because when I look up to my sort of little camera screen, you know, I'm not seeing necessarily the finer details or the finer symbols. But then when people comment and say they've seen that I missed a symbol, I'm like, oh, OK, maybe they can see clearer. But of course, I forget that some of you guys watching on TVs, laptops, iPads, and of course, it's a whole lot bigger screen than my well half the size of my phone screen uh, which is above my head and I don't have my glasses on for seeing distance because I only need them for sort of like driving so I forget how I say close or not close um, you guys may be able to see stuff but yeah I am more than happy to put some pictures on the group I will take some pictures once I have finished filming this and bob them up there so that you've got them for reference. Um, I don't know whether I'll be able to do any fancy editing. Maybe I'll just put them up and then I'll see if I can fancy-ish edit to sort of explain how I've put them. Um, though I do have the videos explaining how I've put them as well. So I'll bob them up on the group and if you guys have got any questions then maybe I'll try editing some. I'm not very good at editing on my phone. Um, I could edit on my computer though, to be fair. Um, I could potentially edit them on my computer and then upload them to Facebook. It's very weird how I get used to doing certain things in, on certain places. So Facebook on the computer drives me up the wall. I do it at times. I have our business, Facebook, Messenger, etc. Sort of is classed as business suite where it tells me if I've got any comments to reply to or any messages. Um, I have that on the computer because I tend to use my computer in the day. Um, but to actually go on the Facebook group and stuff, I much prefer going on my phone. Uh, however, if I have a really long comment to write, I will go back on my computer and do it. Or if I have posts that I want to schedule, so like when we have June Waffle or Advent event, I tend to do those on the computer. Uh, but like Instagram, nah, phone all the time. Don't ever open it on my computer. Um, so yeah, it's and I prefer dealing with photos primarily on my phone, but occasionally I'll pull them up on the computer. It's really weird. Um, I often have two things next to me. It's like the thumbnails for YouTube. They are always done on my phone, but everything else is done on the computer. 
So I always end up grabbing my computer, sitting down and then going, oh, need my phone for this. I have to get up and get my phone. Anyway, sidetrack. Um, Yvette said she was about to message and ask the same thick question about drills. She said ready for when she gets round to doing it uh, as she likes the sound of it. Uh, Lady Dax has confirmed she's put hers away for now because of her eyes um, but once she's got her new specs she wants to sort of rearrange before she starts again. So yes I will bob that up once I finish this weapon waffle. I will take pictures uh, before I pop the diamonds away um, and pop them up for you so that you've got that reference because I get it. I get why it's helpful and why, it, why it's uh, useful to sort of see clearly. And it's easier to have a reference of a photo van that you can save than a, a, a video that you have to keep going through and sort of pausing and all the rest of it. Right. I've just filled in one sort of random symbol. I do feel like I need to fill in a couple, uh, but I also feel like so that these trays are sort of, one of them's closer to me than the other. So sometimes the symbol's really easy to find and sometimes it's not. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. We're not doing too bad so far. So get these little diamonds. Most of them have ended up being in the one that's closest to me. Just check, no, they're all the diamonds with holes in. Three dots, are we in number three? No, we're in circles. Uh, Julia, she says she always loves my videos. Thank you, Julia. She says she likes to play them as background noise while cleaning or while she's diamond painting herself. Sorry, quick check. Um, she says she spilled some drills the other day and spent over half an hour cleaning them up. Ouch. Ouch. She says uh, she had to laugh at herself, she says, because it was her first spill in months. Well, I'm so glad it's not something that happens regularly because that would just be, frankly, annoying. <laughs> um. Carrie, she says, thank you for another great waffle. She says she's had a second day. Oh, I knew I'd end up missing one of those arrows every time I miss one of those. Um, she says she's glad she's had a second day with no migraines. Woohoo! She says she's also got one of her migraine meds figured out. Uh, so the stress of affording it has gone. Perfect, you are ticking those boxes, Carrie. Get this one off your mind, get this one off your mind, loving it. Uh, she says an update on her foot. She says she's still in a boot um, until the 8th of May. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out which one I wanna do next. Um, she says at that point they will decide if it's healing or if she needs to have surgery. Uh, she said so fingers crossed it starts to feel better. We'll cross them all over here. Uh, she says she's also needing more injections in her back for a low back pain. She said so it has definitely been nice to have a couple of days without migraine pain. Yes, feels like Sounds like one, you know, one pain goes and another one comes a bit more to the forefront. So I do really hope you're able to get something or work out something that can work for you um, across the board so you can just start to feel better as a whole. Because it kind of sucks otherwise. Right, I want a dot. So a dot. This dot symbol is jumping out at me, so I just want to get it covered up. 
and then I definitely will have some other symbols that only need a couple but none of them are jumping out at me at the moment so I'm going to try and get some more of these that I have like a fair amount of um Kim she says uh she's tried quilting she said it didn't work very well for her she said she had difficulty cutting pieces straight um, and she got frustrated with herself. She said she did enjoy hand quilting using a pattern that was stamped on a project. She says, but her dream of making a lap quilt went up in smoke. I can see how that can happen. Oh, I thought I had loads of this symbol because I could see them sort of at the start of blocks of colour, but obviously not. Okay, that's one done. Um, she says she also taught her left hand, left handed self to crochet um, while watching YouTube videos. She says, since her shoulders were up by her ears with tension, while crocheting dishcloths, she said she divide, decided that that craft was not for her either. I could just imagine you sat there all hunched up, determined to get this crochet done and determined how to learn it. <laughs> um, she says she's always loved county cross stitch. She says, but arthritis was not her friend. Um, uh, so she surrendered that craft. She says diamond painting. She says now that is a hobby she can do and she can enjoy. She says phew, finally a hobby that she loves to do and gives her a break from her other hobby which is reading. Reading is another good hobby to have. Uh, and I like the fact that I can now diamond paint and listen uh, at the same time. I never thought Audible would be for me, um, like when it was first about, should we say, when it first came out. It didn't have the appeal to me. Um, oh, okay, I'll just throw my diamonds everywhere. Don't mind me, I'm just throwing diamonds out of my lid all over the place. Um, yeah, so I didn't think Audible would be for me. I was like, well, why would I do that? <laughs> um, I only originally got a Kindle because of traveling to Australia uh, and being able to have that choice and that variety of books um, to sort of choose from, partly to be able to be dependent on my mood because when you fly in for 24 hours, um, and you can't really sleep on planes, as you can imagine. But sometimes you, you, you know, you're just not fit for reading this type of book. You know that you have to think about. You want to read another, and of course, I don't want to take five, even paperback. I don't want to take five paperback books on a plane with me just so I had a variety. Um, so I got a Kindle because of that. Uh, but now. I just love Audible because I found Diamond Painting. Uh, and I think that's the reason I love it so much because I can just, in effect, listen to my books as well as Diamond Paint. And I get the best of both worlds. Uh, Blossom Chaps, she says, several years ago, she said there was some very glittery... Um, Christmas paper about. She says she ended up using different colours to colour match wrapping her granddaughter's presents. Um, she says then they all went in the back of the car to be transported to her sons for Christmas. Uh, she says and every now and then she is still getting glitter <laughs> resurfacing on the back seat of her car. <laughs> Does not surprise me. I, I don't think glitter can be got rid of, really. I think, you know, all the 
dust bunnies and you know dust that gets cleared up and hoovered up it would not surprise me if there is at least one piece of glitter in every you know vacuum hoover load of dust that we remove uh, just due to the fact that we've ever had it in our house uh, of course it's easier to see when there's more than one piece but still uh, I think that glitter is something that can just never die uh, she also says she says random question she says have you also got city streets in the snow in your stash um no I don't have that one in my stash I love it uh, but I don't have that one in my stash at the moment. Um, I do have a lot of Diamond Art Studio in my stash to work through. Um, and I have loads that I am excited to do. Uh, but City Streets isn't one of them. Uh, I do have two others by the same artist though. Um, they're actually waiting to be unboxed. But I'm waiting for stock to come back in. Because uh, I don't have a certain time frame I need to unbox them by. So I'd rather unbox them when they're in stock or maybe about to be restocked. Um, so that you guys, if you do fall in love with a painting, can go buy it. Um, it happens enough with things like paint gem. Some of the paint gems, um, by the time they get to me, they've sold out on the website. And I sort of can't avoid it sometimes uh, something being out of stock the aura lower painting that I'm currently working on fox woman that was out of stock when I looked today it may well be being restocked but because I know that diamond art studio do restock on a regular basis like it you know they, they give you plenty of warning before something's going to expire um, and they're constantly restocking because of that, I may as well just wave them. But no, that was a sidetrack. I don't have that one. <laughs> I just have some others. Um, Anika, she says, hello, Rebecca. She says, on the subject of emptying out rooms, uh, she says she thinks she has a record for um, displacing stuff. She said two years ago was the first time uh, they had to empty her office slash um, hobby space. She says the whole room was flooded, the whole apartment was flooded uh, and needed emptying. And they decided to do a makeover on the outer walls and build new inner walls with new windowsills. Uh, so everything was emptied room by room and when they finally got everything in place it was time to do the floors so they had to empty everything out again. Uh, so now she has six moving boxes filled with stuff that she has no idea where it was or where to put it. Uh, she simply has no space left to put everything in uh, she says so what does she do she's just stacked those boxes in the office slash hobby room against the wall and she goes through them when she's missing stuff oh. that sounds like an absolute nightmare time but also having new floors and new inner walls would have been quite nice and fresh and exciting once it's done after the drama uh, if you want your hobby space, craft space to be calming, uh, maybe you just need to set yourself sort of a daily goal of five items, two items, five minutes, whatever works for you. And just start with the most accessible box um, and take out five things. And they either are things you want and you find a home or they are to go. And maybe see if you can get through your boxes that way. If you do find that there is more stuff in them to keep than you ever thought, then maybe you have to say, OK, I've got one item in my hand that I want to keep. What am I going to get rid of to put this in its place instead? 
Sounds like you need to set yourself a little sort of game challenge to get through the boxes. Many, many games you could do. <laughs> uh, Mysterious Days. This is actually the last comment for this Whip and Waffle. It's either been a longer Whip and Waffle than I thought, or I've actually chatted through comments more. Maybe, maybe a bit of both. Um, okay, she says she's watching this while she is kitting down a half finished kit. Uh, she said, besides being a diamond art club, uh, she says the squares are so gappy, she says, and it's driving her up the wall. My first square painting ever from Diamond Art Club was awful. It really was. And I did say it was awful on YouTube, which means Diamond Art Club probably don't like me. But anyway, um, yeah, it was a Mandy Manzano. Mandy Manzano? mother something it looked fine when it was done but you know when you just hear all the hype and then you get one and you do one and you're just so disappointed then again i was disappointed with my first dreamer designs as well so um i was disappointed with the first one from them as well and they have improved and diamond art club has improved uh, and i'm not afraid to, to say that they've improved because that's flipping awesome um, but yeah, I will, I will agree that I was disappointed the first one that I ever had from them as well, but I've not been disappointed with all the newer ones I've had since. Um, she says she wants to have her large round by Randall Spangler, sorry, changing colours, um, she says not only to finish, but also to have a round to work on while she's working on her large square that will take her at least one to two months. Uh, she says, yes, it's the same kit that she has worked for on and off for the whole year now. She says, but it is probably the largest canvas she's ever had. So it's taken her a lot of time to work on. Well, sometimes paintings do take you longer. You just have to think sometimes of it being a different type of project, a bit like I do with walking in the rain. How long walking in the rain takes doesn't really bother me. Like, yes, finishing it in June to start have June waffle and then start something new would be nice. Just because I do have that sort of break for a whip and waffle month, but... It is in no way like a need. Um, this project will take as long as it takes. And then my next project will take as long as it takes. Uh, but I do get antsy if my current whip, if I feel like that's dragging on for months, then that does annoy me. It's weird the way our brains work. Let's change my battery over for this last bit and I've just realised I didn't have the symbol. I will try and get in the habit of keeping my symbol in view. <laughs> Can't say how good I'll do. Um, she says, as for why she is kitting down the half finished square, comfort a bolt numb. She said, it's not only the gapping, she said, it is also what the piece means to her, uh, which comes from the place of connecting the image uh, when her mental health was in a really bad place, she says, and she doesn't want it to affect her mood. Uh, she says, she doesn't know if it's just her, but what imagery she surrounded herself with tends to affect her mood. She says she's found comfort in supernatural type movies, um, which couldn't help happened to me in real life she says but seriously bugs me but regardless <laughs> i think we all dream of supernatural powers every now and then especially when it comes to the speed in which we can do the housework <laughs> that's for sure uh she says also she says science rant 
she says the way caffeine affects us uh, is or is all so how it affects each of us is highly personal to our bodies she says uh, she has undiagnosed but extremely possible ADHD uh, and she finds that caffeine helps her focus more than giving her energy though it does give her energy to a, a degree uh, she says her niece on the other hand she says gets sleepy if she drinks coffee uh, she calls it her knockout juice uh, she says she does eventually get sneak sleepy sleepy sneaky sorry sleepy with caffeine she says but that's on her 600 to 800 milligram days she says most days she currently averages about 400 milligrams she says which is still high for a lot of people but normal people uh, but normal to be to her and to be built on over the years See, I don't even know how many milligrams. I just know I drink a lot more cups of coffee than anybody else I know. Um, she says what she don't under doesn't understand, though, is how she drank straight black coffee with her dad when she was a five. When she was five. She says now she needs at least some half and half and some vanilla syrup. <laughs> Tastes definitely change in that way, I think. Um, yeah, and I think definitely as kids compared to uh, as adults, your taste can definitely change. And I think your taste buds change as well and grow. I'm sure there's some science there to back me up. I just don't know exactly what it is. But anyway, that comment actually took us very nicely to the end. I think I was... You know, when I looked at how far off I was, I felt like I had a lot. But because there was less and less and less symbols, it actually didn't take as long as I thought to finish. Uh, but let me just move these out of the way. I'm not going to put them away because I do need to take photos. Uh, but we are really getting there with her. Um, what I think we're going to have, if I just move all of this out of the way is I think this is that yellow symbol that I was on about. So I think it starts to appear in here. So I think we're going to have a lot of 307 soon. Uh, I don't know how much. Oh, we've got a scattering of it in next week's section, which will be a bit bigger than that. But, um, yeah, I think it's looking absolutely gorgeous so far. It's not all the way unrolled. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be really fun to continue getting through this and I think we're going to have a bit more blocky and a bit more bright next week um, but it's amazing how once this is all placed down it doesn't look as dark as it did when I was just focusing on that it's like you bring in the rest and it looks lighter or well, maybe that's just me but anyway Thank you so much for joining me for today's Whip and Waffle. I uh, hope you can stick around for future videos that are coming, but I'll speak to you all again soon.